Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now, what's better than one fantastic guest? Two. We have a second guest for you here in the studio today. He's an actor, director, producer, and one who has really made his mark in the Nigerian entertainment space. Need I forget to mention father and husband as well. Today we have joined with us, uh, joining us in the studio is Etim Effiong. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for Welcome. having me. And congratulations on being a new daddy. So it's going to be your first <laughs> Valentine as a daddy. Yes. <laughs> Good to How does that feel? Well, it feels lovely. Um, well, I guess I... I, I I have to show love to two people now, two human beings. Before now, I had to just love one. Now I get to love two, two have you wonderful seen a women. Um, um, no, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm looking forward to it, though. Okay. I think it's amazing where you get to be pooped on and peed on. Oh, Such a blessing. I can imagine. <laughs> I look forward to seeing. I hope you'll be updating us on social media. Absolutely, the you're going to see all of it. <laughs> all right. So let's talk about you, about Etim F. Young. Etim F. Young. The actor, you wear several hats, so yes. tell us about all the hats you wear. Um, first of all, I have a background in engineering. I studied chemical engineering as a first degree. And then um, along the line, I started to get this, you know, tingling, this call, this pull to the arts. And um, I decided to follow it. And now I'm in the arts, I'm in entertainment. So as an entertainer, I'm an actor. I'm a filmmaker as well. I'm a producer and a director. Um, I studied that as well, so I have, you know, the professional right, as it were, to Fantastic. practice. Um, and, um, and yeah, so that's basically what I do. I write, produce, direct, and I'm a performer as well. Okay. And how do you feel doing all of this? Um, it feels... Okay, so it started with me being in front of the camera on stage. So it started with me as a performer. And at some point, I, I, I realized that I had to control the narrative. I, I, I wasn't satisfied with, um, you know, performing other people's stories. So um, I said, okay, um, how about I tell my own stories, stories I'm passionate about, stories that I like to be told, um, or stories I like to tell. So I decided to start to tell, I started to write, and then started to direct, and then started to produce. So I think it's about controlling the story for me. You know, um, I get to be um, um, cast in interesting roles, playboy roles, you know, the, the bad guy roles, and oh, things like that. Me, I see <laughs> <laughs> and, and while I, I really love those roles and I play them very well, I am more passionate about certain other roles that people don't see me in the mood. They're like, yeah, you're too fine to so be So which in. roles are you more passionate oh. about? I like to play real people. I like to play, you see how I'm, how I'm speaking? I don't speak like that every time. You know, and, and I want to be able to have that kind of life represented. I, I want to be able to speak pidgin as, as much as I want. I want to be able to speak bad English because that's what happens. That's, that, that's, that's reality, you know. So, but, but we don't always get cast in those kind of roles. And because I'm like, you don't look like it. <clears throat> okay, so how do you now plan <laughs> to fight being stereotyped by the um, industry? Fantastic that you have your own platform so right. you can decide to start exactly, your to own tell story. my own story. For others who want to bring you to tell their stories for them, how right. do you intend to fight being stereotyped? Um, that's or an interesting tactics. question. Yes, that's an interesting question. I think, I think what I'll, I'll do is to try to um, play the roles differently. And, uh, you know, <laughs> you know I've, been on, I've been on a set and, and the director was like, no, you have to play this way. And I'm like, y yeah, but wouldn't... But because I respect the craft, I, I give directors what they want me to give them, mm. right? So when I'm, I'm telling my own stories, I get to say, okay, now I, I, I'll do it a bit differently. And then people see it and they come to me and they're like, oh, I really liked what you did here. Can you, you know, maybe do it differently for us now? So, so with time, people get to buy into the idea of doing things differently, playing a rich guy differently. So you might be wealthy but then you, you, you don't speak well. You might be wealthy, but then you, you speak pigeon. Mm. What's wrong with that? You might, be, you might be a broke person, but you, have, you speak the Queen's English. Nothing wrong. There are people who have never traveled anywhere that speak really well. How do they learn? TV. Mm. You know, so, so, so these are different things that bring color to roles that, you know, that people play and make them fresh and different. Okay, so still speaking about stereotypes. Now, I know that um, I've watched... Hollywood movies, for example. Now you have somebody like uh, Matthew McCartney playing a certain role as a good guy, right. and he's well fed. Right. And then there's this movie I watched of him. I'm trying to remember the name where he had to lose pounds of weight right. to right. actually get into that role. Right. Now in Nigeria, we don't see actors who go so far yes. in, you know, like I, I remember know. when 
Why Tony Tones? You. No, uh -huh. hold on. Why Tony Tones the King of yeah, Boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually yeah. saluted yeah, her for that wonderful. because she actually put in a yeah. lot of work for that. But aside Tony, yeah. I don't see other actors doing that. Put it in the work. The industry for a has the industry has lots of talented um, performers, loads and loads of them. But there's no we, we don't the industry the the mold or the format we have currently doesn't support that kind of dedication to the craft. There's mm. no time for it. You know, you're jumping from one set to another, they're calling you here, calling you there, and you need to make this paper. Do you get? You need to make this money. So there's no time to actually dedicate to this role. For example, I'd love to spend three months preparing for a role, right? Are you going to pay me enough to do three, three months of prep yeah, for a role? You, for example, and then, gym trainer and everything. Are, are you going to do that for me? Are you going to give me a speech coach? Are you going to give me an jobs. accent coach? Yeah. Exactly. No, the industry isn't built like that for now. Maybe in the, in the future, yes. But for now... We have to make do with what we have. You go on set, <laughs> you know. Shoot in one week. Do what you have to do. And then go back home. And then bounce. And, and then go on to the next one. And sometimes people juggle two sets at the same time. Absolutely. Only me speaking to. from experience, I see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's uh, for a minute, pause on looking at Etim F. Young, the director, and let's look at Etim F. Young, the actor. Right. Now, you had a recent, um, you've had several projects you worked on. And I, yes. I recently saw one, Plan mm -hmm. B. Yeah. How was working on Plan B for you? I think starting out... Um, Last year, actually, one of my dreams was to start to work on international projects, start to do things outside of, the, uh, outside of Nollywood, as it were. And I started off in South Africa, you know, doing some, some, some work in South Africa. I was in um, Generations and Legacy in South Africa, and then came to Nigeria, and then, you know, I came back to Nigeria because I was in Nigeria before I went to SA, and then I started to push for more work outside of this space. And interestingly, I got a call from Kenya, um, Lola D was in, was in Nairobi, and I got a call from Nairobi, and she was like, hey, would you like to come, you know, uh, uh, collaborate with us on this project? And she sent me the script, and I'm like, it's lovely, really good script. And I'm like, I'm, I'm all for it. And she's like, let's do it. And I'm <laughs> <laughs> flying to Nairobi, and on set, it was wonderful. It was fresh. It was different, you know. Um, for the first time, there was no real pressure to... Um, you know, how, you know how in in, in Nollywood there's there's a certain pressure to because of time. There's no real time because time is money. Mm -hmm. So when you don't have um, when you have a limited budget, then you have to you know work on the clock. You know, but it appeared that in Nairobi we were just really having fun. The nice. the, the, the collaborators on set were amazing people. Loladi is such a talent. Like. Why is she in Nairobi? I know. <laughs> you know this is like, Lola D, why are you in Nairobi? I, I, you know? I, I think it's, it's very important that you ask that question because we are having a lot of our young people leaving the country, yes, our absolutely. young minds. And yes. that is why it's important for people to participate in the elections because it's not just for you, it's for your future, it's for your colleagues so that we don't have every young person running out of right, the country. Right. I think she's such a talented woman. Absolutely. And, and we, can't we can't wait to see Plan to B. Yeah, yeah. But I we have a clip, a short clip of okay. the trailer, so let's check it out. And when we come back, we'll still be speaking some more to Etim F. Young and finding out what is his plan B in life. <laughs> you are the best stylist ever. Let me go get the cash. That's him. That's a guy. Who? The guy at the lounge, the one-night stand guy. He's Nigerian. A rich Nigerian ogre. <laughs> you have taken in the right D. We have to find his office. Lisa, imagine if he remembers that night. If he took responsibility, our lives could change. But yeah, you keep saying we. I have invested in you and this child. This is where the friendship pays off. Listen, I'm going to make this real quick. That's five thousand dollars. When you walk out of that door, the secretary will give you an agreement to sign, and you agree to settlement of this ridiculous claim. Leave my office. All we need to do is change strategy. That's all. How? Okay, this madness has got to stop. Now, don't see Niger Chris before. Court injunction demanding that you take the paternity test. And if the results are positive, you pay my client $10,000 damages fee and $5,000 monthly. Okay. I'll get my lawyer. If the test comes out negative, you'll be sued for $20,000 for defamation, threat, and emotional damages. Let's walk away. I'm not walking away. The paternity test stands. You seem nice and decent. Maybe you should have walked away with the money I was offering you. You wouldn't be in this mess. Getting cold feet, Mr. Dele Corker. Dele? I shouldn't be here. Me too.
And that is the trailer of Plan B. I yeah. have a feeling he, your character, is yeah, going to fall in love with that girl at the end of the film. But I'm not going to ask. You know, okay. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. Please don't ask. Watch the film. <laughs> okay, when is the film out? Uh, it's out, well, it's out in, in Nairobi TV, in Kenyan TV today. But it's out for the rest of the world. Right. We all get to see it on YouTube. Good. So, um, yes. well, what was, would you say are some of the most challenging things, you know, the challenging experiences you had whilst filming that? Um, okay, for one, uh, the lead female character was actually pregnant. <laughs> really? That was a prosthetic pregnancy. No, it wasn't. It was a real pregnancy. So she was like really heavy. And, you know, I had to play with that character and love her and fall in love with her. And while it was, and, and funny enough, my wife was also pregnant at the same time. So, nice. like, it was really interesting. Like, I had to uh, um, play with this woman who was physically pregnant and. Your Across the world, <laughs> my wife was also pregnant, so, I, I, so it was quite, it was quite does, interesting. How does your Not wife, challenging, interesting. Interesting. How does your wife deal with scenes where you have to be with other women and maybe, who knows, you know, get physical? Yeah, we talk about it. We talk about it a lot, you know, um, in our relationship that we, we hold nothing back. You know, we talk about everything. And, and I'm blessed with a wonderful woman. She's really open to many of these things. You know, we have where we draw the line and things, but for most of it, we, we're open to it and we talk about it. It's, it's professional, it's work. Okay. So, so she understands. Okay. Well, I want to find out, uh, who are the actors you look up to in the Nigerian movie industry and also those in Hollywood, if you have any? Oh, wow. There are, there are a number of them. I look up to a lot of, um, of actors in, in Hollywood. Um, if I was to mention names, which, of course, you want me to mention names, I'd say, right away, I'd say, um, I'd say RMD. Uh, Uncle Richard is a fantastic, fantastic talent, and, you know, I look up to him. He's been around for years, and he's done amazing work. Uncle Bimbo Manuel, as well, is fantastic. He's such a talent, you know, and every time I watch him, I'm always like, wow, you know, such a talented uh, performer. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, All right, I'll, I'll jump in <laughs> Before I let you go, Etim, yeah, let's yeah. look at your plan B in life. Okay. So you just did plan B, the movie. Yes. If you had to pick a plan B, you're not an actor, you're not a director, producer, you're not in this entertainment space, what will you be doing? I'll be an engineer. Like, <laughs> engineering I'll be plan doing A engineering. Well, uh, well, now it's the plan B. So if all, all of this doesn't work out, you know what? Thinking about it again, I have no plan B. Really, I, I think I've gone from my plan A to my plan B. Now I, I'm just like, this has to work. Oh so cheers God. to our yes. plan B's working. But yes. apparently the three of us on this set are all thriving in our plan B. So Absolutely. cheers to our plan B's Thank working you. and paying off eventually. But Great. it's been such a delight having you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for joining me. us. Cheers. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.